It is Thursday, May 30th, 2019. I am Farah Bates with tonight's edition of News in Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Here's what you need to know. Government explores possibility of abolishing fees at the University of Guyana in second term in office. Here is Royce and Drake's with the details. Mr. Moses Nagamoto said President David Granger and himself are looking at the possibility of abolishing fees for the University of Guyana. The Prime Minister was speaking during a government outreach in Essequibo on Wednesday. In a second term, in a second term, to address that issue of free access to education. And if you can have access and affordability, you can afford to go to university and not be bothered whether your parents have to sell their cow or their sheep or their goat to provide the fees or to provide the books or to provide the transport cost, you're going to become an achiever. Another A, the triple A effect of our government is access, affordability, and achievement. And so we want to deliver the country to a nation of achievers. Since taking office, President David Granger has pushed for an educated nation and implemented the Boat, Bus and Bicycle Initiative to ensure that children are in school. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. Shh! It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there's such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh! Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. 
Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email PRO at GCOM.org.GY. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.GY. Welcome back. 13 year old recovering after attempting to take his own life. More in this report. A second form secondary school student of Gangaram Village, Kanji, is showing signs of recovery days after he allegedly consumed a poisonous substance. The boy, who is now a patient of the New Amsterdam Hospital, reportedly consumed a poisonous substance after he was allegedly promised a cell phone from his father, which he never got. This newscast understands that the boy decided to take matters into his own hands and drank the substance. The 13-year-old boy was at the time spending a day with his dad. A family member said she smelled the poison and noticed the boy laying down. She said when she checked on him, he then told her what transpired. He was rushed to the New Amsterdam Hospital last Sunday evening and is still receiving medical attention. Lilawasi Fadar, the mother of the young boy, said her son lives with his grandfather and would usually spend time with her and his dad since they separated. The worried mother said she is hoping that her son gets well soon and he is also wishing to get back to normal so that he can return to school. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email PRO at GCOM.org.GY. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.GY. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email PRO at GCOM.org.GY. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.GY. I sell swaggerific, Spaniard me like staggerific. I Spaniard, when the star give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 turn
Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-027729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. And finally, progress is being made between the Bauxite Union and Rosal. Here is Royce and Drakes with the details. The industrial relations between the Guyana Bauxite and General Workers Union and the Bauxite Company Russell are improving and the union president says he was heartened by the government's response to their struggles. Speaking to this newscast, Leslie Gonzalez said things are back to normal. We would have actually returned to normal CNA and we are in the process of uh, negotiating a new CLA. As a matter of fact, we had a meeting with them about two days ago, which seems to be progressive quite nicely. Those who were dismissed, they were, they were, they were back in there, back in the system. Matter of fact, and things are going on the way it had to. It might not be instant where you see things happening, and that's why we're working on the new CLA so as to have things regularizing and put things in uh, perspective. He said the company and the union are in the process of working on a new collective labor agreement. The union is always. They recognize union. What the problem or the problems were, the company didn't want to treat with us. I would say that's off to the Minister of Social Protection and the government in particular. That's the coalition body. who would have intervened at a critical time when workers weren't satisfied with what was given to them in terms of 1% that was offered. Um, the, the, the thing about it is that we are more than heartened to know that at this juncture, because of the intervention of the government, the coalition body, uh, we are much, we are enjoying much more, uh, a much more cordial relationship, which we do admire at this point in time. For years, the company had refused to recognize the union as a workers' representative. Things got heated after some 61 workers were sent packing after taking industrial action over a 1% salary increase offered by the company. The workers were quickly reinstated following the intervention by the government. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproduction.gy.com or Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Royce and Drake's Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebates. Good night.